everyone, Christina Danforth here with HR Jetpack, and I am joined by the lovely Darlene Houston, an HR assistant with the Navy ROTC at Yale. And we are going to have another HR Pro Talk. I'm very excited to be meeting with you, Darlene. Thank you yes. so much for joining me. Hey, you're welcome. No problem. Glad to be here. Yeah, awesome. So, first question. For those of us in a corporate setting or a nonprofit setting, you know, we're not accustomed to necessarily working within a government institution. So what's it like as an HR professional working for a government institution within your current organization? Um, working for the government in HR, it's more working, working for the betterment of society. So like for instance, I work for the military, so um, the program I'm involved in with training Navy officers, with training college students who are someday going to be a Navy, Navy officers. So what happens is um, we're, we're governed by a lot of different rules and stuff, but there's, there's, um, we don't have to worry about profit the way a corporation or private sector would worry about profit. They're everything, they're motivated by the get profit, get profit. We're more into um, just pleasing or pleasing the people we're working with, we, we have a different focus, a different objective. That's the best way I can say it. The government is more just the betterment of society, like I said, it's a good idea. Yes, we're great. We're great. Focus. All right, so based on that, you know, I think I have an idea of maybe what, what your, your next answer will be. You know, what's your favorite thing about being an HR professional, especially where you work right now? Um, welcoming the new students, um, one thing about being in HR, usually you're the first person that meets anybody new into the organization, um, able to, um, first one to tell them about the organization, and um, just, to, just to be positive and to inform them of how things work. I think being in HR, you, know, you can have a positive influence on them and on the organization, and I think that's the best thing I like about HR. Having that opportunity yes. to welcome, you know, that next up and coming yes. generation. Yes. Wow. Wonderful. Okay, so last question today. What advice would you have for someone who's entering the HR profession or who wants to enter the HR profession? Um, I think being a strategic thinker is critical to being in HR. Um, being very flexible and able to try things new and be willing to try things new. Um, also being tech savvy, um, HR is turning more and more toward technology as far as stats and data, as far as how many people are hired, how many people are leaving, um, what's the goal of the organization, how they're meeting those goals, and being able to work in the computer systems and HR software to be able to, to be effective in your HR role. I think that's very important. Awesome. Great, great points. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, for all of you out there, you know, this is Darlene Houston. I'm Christina Danforth with HR Jetpack. Stay tuned for our next HR Pro Talk.